started with Mike Singer. Hey, Mike, good to see you. W was there a sense of urgency from you guys after dropping two over the weekend to, to clinch home court advantage, seal this up, and potentially get you guys some rest uh, over this next week? Yeah, this is definitely a game we wanted to win. You know, we had lost a few, a few close ones against LA, Utah, and then the, the Brooklyn Nets. So we definitely wanted to come in and get a win tonight. Ashley Neville. Hey, Mike, good to see you. Um, so we know how Nicola feels about winning the MVP. He uh, doesn't really care about the individual awards. But do you guys hype him up a little bit and tell him to embrace it? Yeah, I mean, I mean, you know, he doesn't really care, so we don't really say too much. But I think probably in the back of his head, he's, he's hoping that if he gets it, you know, it's a really big accomplishment, it's huge, the biggest individual accomplishment you can get in the NBA. So it's probably in the back of his head. He never talks about it. Brandon Cristal. Yeah, Michael, kind of back to Mike's question about rest. Are you looking forward to maybe getting some some games off or just have a little bit of extra time before the playoffs? Have you had those conversations with Coach Malone and the coaching staff yet? Have you, have you thought about it? He came to me and uh, he asked, you know, when I, when I thought about it a couple games ago, and you know, after the clinch home court. But, um, you know, for me, it's, I, it's, it's a mix because you, you want to stay in rhythm too. So I know we get like a week off after the season. So I don't really, I don't see a big need to rest right now, but you know, it's up to them. If they want to try to avoid, you know, some crazy injury or something before playoffs, then then, then that's cool. But I don't really feel that I need, body-wise, I don't really feel a big need to rest. Crystal Saltis. Hey, Michael, especially after the Jamal Morris injury, you made a huge step up and you established yourself, yourself as one of the leaders of that team. How comfortable do you feel in that role, and how helped you, Nikola Jokic, to, to establish yourself as that? Yeah, I feel very comfortable. Uh, my teammates help me, um, but yeah, I feel very comfortable in any role. I can adjust if I need to play more. Um, you know, the the role that I was playing with Jamal, I could do that. But I also can be more aggressive if I need to. So it's not too much of a difference for me. I'm just, you know looking for my shot a little bit more, the ball finding me a little bit more, but it's nothing I'm not used to, you know, growing up and everything. So it's, I feel very comfortable. Leonardo Torres. Hi, Michael, it's Leonardo Torres from Peru. Congrats on the win. Michael, do you think right now you're playing the best basketball of your career? Nah, nah, I'd say uh, senior high school, um, probably, but um, I'm 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 definitely adapting my game a little bit, you know, after the injury and everything. I don't think I'm fully uh, fully 100 yet, not even close. So I'm healing every day. I'm getting better every day. But um, I have a whole another two three levels. I feel like I can go to, um, and then Lord willing, you know, I keep healing and getting better. But um, it's a blessing, you know. I try to take back, take a step back. When I'm playing good, I mean, after after big games, and just thank God because there's a lot of people saying I'll never play basketball again. You know, um, that 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 Clippers doctor, I think it was, he he brought up a report, sent it to all the teams. Might he might not play again? And you know, when I saw that, I was thinking to myself, I might not play again because it was that bad. So I definitely try to take moments to take a step back and appreciate how far God has brought me. But I feel like I got a long way to go to really uh, maximize what's inside of me. Nicole from TAB. Hi, Michael. Congress for the win. Early, the coach talked with us about your growing and improving season by season. So I'd like to know how you feel about your develop with the team and your growing through the years. Um, it's, a, it's a process, but you know, we're trying to grow, get close every day, um, grow as individual players and then grow, grow as a team. And, um, you know, we got a few more games and it's playoff time. So it's a really good time to, to uh, you know, get better on all facets and go in there on a good note. Um, there's definitely things we need to clean up going into the playoffs, but we're going to get there. Esteban Abed. 
Hi, Mike. Congrats for the win and for your big performance of tonight. Uh, how important was for the team recover uh, uh, Monte Morris in action in, in a particular season with a lot of injuries for the team? Can you say that one more time? I'm sorry. Yes. Do you listen to me better now? Oh, yeah, yeah, I can hear you. I can yeah, hear you. okay, okay. Um, about the Monte Morris comeback in action, how important was for you and the team uh, having played in some minutes in a crazy season for, uh, with a lot of injuries for Denver? No, Monte coming back helped us a lot. Um, you know, he, he's been there, been to the Western Conference Finals, really, really good player. So we're really excited he's back with us. Um, and he looked normal, you know, he missed a couple shots, but he looked perfectly normal to me. So we're all excited to have him back. And uh, he's just gonna keep getting better till the playoffs comes. Michael Spencer. Hey, Michael, I wanted to go back to what you said a couple minutes ago about getting better and maybe two to three more levels for you. So for you, what does that look like? And I know you've talked a lot about defense, but, but for you, if you have to go two to three more levels, what does that look like? You know, I actually just been talking to my trainer. Um, I think every off season, you definitely want to attack something and get better at something. Um, I know a lot of trainers, they, they just have you do a whole bunch of stuff and then you never really master certain things. Um, there's some things I'm already good at, so I don't need to, I don't need to practice on those as much, but going into the off season, I'm really just gonna, um, you know, focus on, focus on, you know, my ball handling, having the ball in my hands because, you know, with Jamal out, I wanna, I wanna, I'm gonna have to play make more next year. Um, and that's something that I really am looking to, to expand my game on. And then, you know, just continue with my body, continue to get healthier. When that, when I keep getting healthier, it just unlocks my game because I'm getting back to my old self. Um, so that's the two main things that I'm looking forward to this offseason. But right now I'm just locked in. I can get better during the season. I think a lot of guys don't think you can really get better during the season, but now you can. I mean, we're in the gym every day working on our stuff. So I'm trying to make a leap, you know, from this week off that we get to the playoffs, work on some stuff. But I got a whole bunch, man, a whole bunch more that I can unlock. And I know that. I'm not content. Mike Singer. Hey, Mike, I know you said you have mixed feelings uh, about resting, but will you, you know, take a game or two off understanding that your role is, is significantly expanded as a result of Jamal's injury? Like, will you have that when you kind of decide what you're going to do? Will you think about that? Um, I don't really know yet, to be honest. I know we got a back-to-back -back coming up. Um, they might want to do something in there, but I haven't, I haven't finalized anything yet. I don't think anyone has. I just actually talked to Yoke, and I don't think he even is thinking about resting either. And that's, you know, he's running, he's going harder than, than any of us. Um, hasn't missed a game all year. So if he's not resting, I'm definitely not resting. All right, we got time for one more. We're going to end with Brandon Cristal. Yeah, Michael, Monte said something about how well you've been playing is, is not only credit to you, but that you're not 100%. So I know you keep downplaying how you feel and said you don't need to take time off. But if you had to put a percentage on it, are you not anywhere near 100% or is, is that an accurate assessment by him? Or is he just, he knows there's little nicks and bruises because it's- a No, Monte, Monte said I'm not 100%. Yeah, he goes, because he, he, he was asked by somebody else to evaluate your play and your growth considering, you know, at this point, and he said, yeah, considering he's not even 100% was something along those lines of what Monte said. Yeah, no, nah, if I had to put a percentage, I mean, like right now, I'm 100% for right now, but like I'm still, I'm still healing. That, that's, that, those injuries that I had, they took a while to heal, but I'm getting better every single day. So like for right now, I'm 100. I kind of feel better than I do right now. But like as the weeks go on, as the months goes on, stuff is coming back to me. Um, I'm feeling better. I just notice different things are healing. Um, but I feel like fine, you know, so it's hard to put a percentage on it. But uh, yeah, I'm feeling good. I, but there is definitely improvement to be made for sure. All right, that'll do it. Thanks, Mike. Appreciate you.